What are the top five reasons that adult children estrange and cut off from their parents? Let's dive into this topic. Hi, I'm Marie Morin. I'm a therapist and a wellness coach. Let's get started. So in this video, we're going to be discussing what's going on. Why are kids cutting off and what are the top reasons? Well, I have a lot of people contact me and I work with a lot of people. And these reasons not only come from the research, but also my clinical practice. And the first one is divorce. Naturally, not every adult child who's lived through the divorce of their parent estranges. However, the likelihood that an adult child will estrange increases when there's been a divorce. So if an adult child has experienced parental alienation, now what that is, is a systematic brainwashing. It's influence from one parent against the other the likelihood of them estranging is very, very high. And unfortunately, the outcomes for that relationship with the alienated parent aren't that good. However, we do know that adult children who's, who've come from a family that has divorced have emotional outcomes. They feel something. Maybe they were the only kid, their best friend wasn't divorced and they ended up getting divorced. They had to live in two different houses and this is tough on a kid. Not only that, but the distance it creates in the family. If there was high tension, if there was a lot of fighting going on, this affects adult children. Children or adult children from a family that has a divorce um, will create a way of dealing with the stress of the divorce and they're going to make sense of it in any way that works for them. For some, estrangement from one or more parents might be how they cope with this complicated condition and the feelings that arise from divorce and separation. So I talk about what are the causes of parental alienation in my video on that topic. You're gonna to wanna to watch that if you've experienced that because that's a whole other complicated factor. And the second reason is mental illness, which includes substance use addictions. So we know that substance use is considered a mental illness, but if your adult child is experiencing either substance use, uh, struggles with depression and anxiety, or one more than the other, they may halt the relationship because of their current state of mind. So we also know that it's not always just about the mom and dad. Very often the adult child is feeling distressed, whether it involves the parent or not. And sometimes when someone feels distressed, very often they like to separate from people. They don't want to be around others. And that includes mom and dad, even if the relationship had once been very close. It's sort of a protective mechanism. I'm not feeling so great, so I'm gonna retract. I'm gonna pull back from the relationships that I have because it just doesn't feel good to have to talk to people, explain what's going on, and I'm having a tough enough time as it is without me having to talk to family members. And that's why sometimes you see when adult children estrange from their mom and dad, they also pull back from aunts and uncles and siblings because they just aren't in a place when they're struggling with mental illness to be able to communicate. On the other hand, in addition to the adult child struggling, or the adult child might not be struggling, but the parent may have either an addiction, maybe they struggled with alcoholism, maybe they had depression and anxiety, and the kid is saying, you know what, I really cannot be around this parent because their behaviors are inconsistent or they're not predictable and being around them makes me distressed and so I stay away from them. And the third reason is pressure from in-laws. So 
your adult son gets married. He marries someone that may be highly sensitive, very reactive. Perhaps you can even call them somewhat trouble. And their personality is very controlling and they want to rule the roost. Uh, author Joshua Coleman calls this the gatekeeper. They keep track of whatever is going on and they can make demands on your adult child, whether it's your son or your daughter, that they don't really want your adult child hanging out with you anymore. Or perhaps there was something that went on with this in-law. Maybe there were words that were spoken that offended them and you crossed the line. And so there's pressure on your adult child. Well, we know a couple of things. One interesting study found that usually sons will align with their wife, even if the demand is to leave the parents and cut off from them because it's less stressful for them if they make their wife or their partner happy than if they demand that they have to see their parent. And I know this is horrible and difficult for parents to deal with, but this is part of what the research says and this is what I'm um, learning and finding with the people that I talk to. And the fourth reason is their therapist. So I know a lot of people that are really, really angry with therapists and they have good reason because there are therapists out there that will leap to the solution of estrangement. However, let's talk about this for a minute. When your adult child goes to their therapist, they are telling them what's going on with them what has been their experience. So the therapist is there for your adult child. They're not listening to the whole story and they are there to support the adult child to gain some type of relief. Now, if the adult child goes there and recounts all of these things that went on with their parent, and of course it's their perception, naturally, the therapist is going to support the decision that the adult child makes. Now, it's not the role of the therapist to say, hey, you know what, you really need to do this differently. You should call your mother and father and get in a relationship. The role of the therapist is to support the adult child. Now, is it true that there are therapists that could very well suggest or sort of tell them you should do this. Absolutely, is that a good thing? Absolutely not. A therapist that is supporting the well-being of their client will not make suggestions, but will assist them to make choices that work for them, different, okay? They're not telling them what to do. They hope for their client to feel better and to gain some relief. Now, could you blame your adult child's um, therapist for being the problem? You could if you want to, but are they the only problem? Well, as in the case of when an adult child makes a decision because they're pressured by their um, spouse or their partner, your adult child still has agency. They get to make the choice. Ultimately, it's the adult child who's made the decision. And if they decide to cut off, that's on them. And the fifth reason is differing values and lifestyles. Very often adult children and their parents will have differences in values and lifestyle choices. For example, they may have different political views, religious views, sexual identities. These can all contribute to someone deciding, you know what, this is too tense. I am not going to do what you want me to do. You're pressuring me to behave in a way that I don't want to behave. That's not my thing. That is your thing. Leave me alone. And so there's discomfort, disagreement. The adult child may feel even misunderstood or judged by their parents. And let's say if their values are one that they don't agree with their lifestyle and the Adult child is feeling so uncomfortable to be around their parents. So an option for them is to remove themselves from the relationship in order to gain some relief. And it is very possible that the adult child vehemently 
strongly disagrees with the perspectives, values, and lifestyles that the parents have and just says, you know what, I really don't want to be with them anymore. And we know that my video, 11 Reasons Why Adult Children Cut Ties, I go through a deeper dive because there is a difference today in the structural underpinning of family. This whole thing that blood is thicker than water is really not operating the way that it did for boomers and older, that generation. Kids are not following that for the majority. Many of them are like, if it doesn't work for me, I'm not really going to do it. So now remember, we've talked about five reasons, but there's never usually just one. It's a complex situation with a lot of reasons, a lot of layers. We do know that when parents have been abusive, toxic, narcissistic, there's been betrayal, and there's been absolutely poor parenting, you can't say it any other way that adult children do cut ties. In this video, we talked about five contributors to why adult children cut ties. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe and get my ebook, Feeling Heartbroken and Alone, How to Pick Up the Pieces When You Are Estranged. See you in the next video.